Boy, Heaven Hollywood back on the IE Network, and this is the Heaven Hollywood Report, and let's get to it. So just like the Tory Lanez case, I said I'm only going to talk on this if something big happens or turn in the case. So there are a few things that happen on this case. I was waiting, let everybody run out there because everybody wants to be first. I let them all run out there, and I'll just make sure that I'm accurate. And have all the details. So, here's what's going on. Here's what's really going on. Now, of course, in the Kenneth Petty, Jennifer Huff lawsuit, that's really what it is. You know, Nicki Minaj is, is getting sued, of course, because she's the big name. Um, What happened uh, recently is Kenneth's lawyer, okay, has entered into, has entered uh, into his supporting documents, you know, he, he filed for a default, okay? So he entered today into, or yesterday, his, into his supporting documents why he wanted the default against Kenneth Petty vacated. So, of course, Jennifer Huff has the default judgment against him, and they're saying they should vacate it. Some of the reasons why. The first thing is, you know, the service that the plaintiff, once again, uh, we read off how he was served or allegedly served. And the moment that I read that off, I let everybody know that just doesn't seem, you know, like he was served. You know, I, I know he said he saw him through the window, you know, the, the service said he saw him through the window and he knew it was him, but eh. You, you, that's not the way it works. They have to say, Kenneth Petty, yes, you've been served. Or they walk up on him and know it's him if he's in a public setting, like if it was if he was a basketball player and they announced his name, you know, starting at guard, Kenneth Petty, and then later on that server runs up to him and serves him, kind of like they did Kobe Bryant, then you've been legally served. But just seeing him through the window and not having conversation with him and him not saying, yes, I'm Kenneth Petty, uh, that's that's sketchy. That doesn't seem like he's served. So that was one of one of the reasons, one of the first reasons. Was not proper service by the law in either New York or California. Uh, for the California, the server would have had to make more attempts than he made. So if he made three attempts and he couldn't... Um, he couldn't hand it to him in his hand. If on the fourth attempt, he saw him or spotted him in the house, he could then leave it on the front door. But you cannot do that after after the first attempt. He also said that the plaintiff is claiming that Kenneth Petty raped her. But he was only charged with attempted R, which was only done under duress given he was 16 years of age and being threatened with a 20-year life sentence. So what they're saying is he was a 16-year-old kid and the only reason that he accepted those, even though he did accept them, but they're saying the only reason that he accepted them is because he was under duress because they was threatening a 16-year-old a kid with a 20-year life sentence. 20-year-to-life sentence, not 20-year 20 years to life, excuse me, if he did not take the plea deal. Now, Kenneth Petty yesterday denies ever are kidnapping, assaulting, threatening, indirectly or directly Jennifer Huff or her family. Now, that is huge because this is the first time since this lawsuit that he has actually came out and denied that he ever even did it. So, um, he claims that, that the fault, that the, he, he says the claims against him are basically based on assertions. She can't even prove whatever happened. So he's saying that she can't even prove any of this ever happened. So did she not go to the hospital? I don't think she did. Did she not? So 
He also says he admitted to knowing black, there's that name again, from their neighborhood, that they're not close like that, and he did not allow him to have Nikki's number. And he, no, no, and he did allow him to have Nikki's number to share with Jennifer so she could speak with her about this recant, but did make Black aware that Jennifer recanting would do nothing for his present case of falling to failing to register. That's what I had said before. I said Nicki Minaj is way too smart for that. Because this wasn't about what he did then, but what he did now, and to stop speaking with her. He denies ever sending Black to do anything on his behalf, giving him any money or sending any lawyers to speak on his behalf or to represent her. He has no idea if Black was pretending to be working for them, but he admits it's possibly given Nikki's celebrity status. So he did give him Jennifer Huff's number. So this goes back to saying exactly what we covered in the podcast. Shout out to Gold Alexis, who had it right on the head. She said she believes, she doesn't believe Nicki Minaj personally threatened Jennifer. I said the same thing. But she does believe that Black or someone else went to Jennifer on Kenneth's behalf. And that's the same thing I said I believe. I never believed that Nicki Minaj, and this is just my personal opinion, I don't want to call Jennifer Huff a liar. I would never do that. I would never victim shame. But me, pers my personal opinion is I just find it hard to believe that Nicki Minaj would personally call her and try to bribe her. Now, she may have called her and said, I heard you're willing to help us out. If that is what Jennifer Huff made them seem as though she was going to do. And that's the way it seems like people are starting to turn. They're starting to say they believe now that Jennifer was willing to recant the statement. But the money that Nikki was willing to give her or whoever was, was offering her, she felt as though wasn't enough. And that's when I believe they think she started the, the YouTube Instagram campaign. Like I said, when it comes to stuff like this, I'm, I'm very, very careful when it comes to the R word and SA because, you know, I don't want to say somebody's not telling the truth and then it turns out that they are, then I have egg all over my face and I don't like egg that much. Um, the other Claims is from Jennifer's lawyer. Now, he's claiming, and uh, as far as Kenneth Petty goes, his sentence, if there is going to be a sentence, is uh, January 24th. All right. Now, um, according to the fairest source on Instagram, shout out to them, um, Jennifer's lawyer, Tyrone Blackburn. <laughs> I laugh. I shout, you know, I, I, I hate laughing at the dude because he is a, a black lawyer, but I mean, come on. Jennifer, please get rid of this dude. You know, if, if you have, if you want to, if, if it is true what happened to you, you having this dude as a lawyer is just not helping you, in my, in my opinion. Um, Tyrone Blackburn claimed that both Nicki Minaj and her husband, Kenneth Petty, are blood gang members and that they are both a part of the most dangerous set of bloods in New York City, the Max. He presented a video of Nicki Minaj on live with the whole gang and then presented a screenshot of a post from one of the alleged Mac members with the caption saying that Max are coming for you, Jennifer. Hmm, a caption saying that? Interesting. I didn't see that, but they say the Max are coming for you, Jennifer. Now, I have heard that this screenshot is fake and was made by a sick fan page on Twitter, but we'll see. I hope Nikki isn't taking 
her 37 year old self down to the slums of New York. This is from ferrissource.com. This is not my words. Um, is taking a 37 year old self down to the slums of New York just to rep a gang full of 40 to 50 year old men. At some point, y'all got to let that gang banging stuff go. Leave that S for the younger guys or something. Um, that is from the fairest source on Instagram. Um, new page that I surfed and, 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 and noticed one time on my timeline. So shout out to them. Um, me personally, <laughs> I just do not believe that Nicki Minaj is a gang member. <laughs> I don't believe that. Um, far as Kenneth Petty goes, you know, hey, it, it, it's possible that Kenneth Petty has street ties or gang ties or whatever. I mean, 50 Cent even even commented one time and said, you know, he he, def, he definitely a street dude. I know him from the streets. He's, he's official, you know, so my cousin, rest in peace, 109 Light, said that, you know, he used to bang. He didn't, you know, he didn't say he was in a gang or what have you, but as far as Nicki goes, I don't believe Nicki Minaj is in a gang. They, they're going to, but let me tell you what they're going to do. Let me tell you what Tyrone Blackburn is going to do, because I already know. He's going to come there with that footage of those guys, right? He is going to look up some of those guys, the ones that if they do have any sorts of jail record, trust me, he will look that up and he will present that to the court. This guy here went to, if God forbid they ever went to jail for a robbery or anything like that, this guy here went to jail for such and such. This guy here was arrested on blah, blah, blah. This guy here, he's going to go, if, if they, if any of them have jail records, trust me, this dude is going to find out and he's going to present that with his argument to try to make her and him seem as, as gang members. Now, you know, again, that's what he's trying to present and they still want to, they still have the default judgment, still have not been made clear by the judge whether that's going to happen or not. Um, I guess we'll find out on the 24th. So, you know, there's a lot more, you know, to this. I definitely don't have enough time to go through all of it. But it looks as though people are starting to think that Jennifer actually was going to recant but didn't like the offer. That's what Go to Lexus said. After she said it, I started researching and looking into it. It's a possibility. Like I said, I'm not here to call Jennifer Huff a liar. I'm not here to call Kenneth Petty a liar. I'm just going to wait until this plays out. Um, and I, I remain, the, I, I say, I remain with the same take that I've had from the beginning. I don't believe. Tory Lanez is going to jail. I don't believe they're going to call Megan Stein a liar. I don't believe they're going to call Jennifer Huff a liar. And I don't believe Kenneth Petty is getting jail time this time. That's what I don't believe. I believe as far as the lawsuit goes, there will be some sort of small undisclosed settlement out of court that I believe she'll get. But that's how I think it's going for now. But to shout out to my uh, pod partner, Go to Lexus, I agree. I believe both parties are telling the truth to an extent. So we just have to find out to what extent that each of them was telling the truth. It's your boy, Heaven Hollywood for the IE Network. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with your friends.